Hi guys, this is Auto Motion or Motion or however you say it. I'm not too sure. I can never get it right. This is a uh, game where, as, as you can see up in the title, it's going to be a car company tycoon game. At the minute, all they've got is the engine build inside, and that's what really intrigued me when I played it. I trained as a mechanic for three years and love vehicles, love engines, and love doing stuff like that. And being able to look inside and build the engine, do the bores, the strokes, and so much so forth really sort of gets you thinking and if I had this when I was at college doing my training I would have loved it it would have been so much more easier to understand it and I really think this could that section alone when they get that buttoned up and completely 100% finished could and should go out to colleges in my opinion it would help people no end I believe uh, for this I'm just going to go into Sandbox, and these are some of the engine of, engines I've played around with. I played the demo for quite a while, and I bought it the game the other day because they deserve every single penny they can get off of people for it. To be perfectly honest, I'll just make a new engine up quick. Here's the uh, room. Rede redesigned. They did all the redesigned and all the measurements and everything. My only sort of thing I'd have to say about everything at the minute is I wish the whole thing was full screen instead of being this little border. But it's a work in progress and I understand that. You can go uh, with the version I've got that be that's the full forced induction when they come out with it, be turbo, superchargers and whatnot. In the demo you can just do four cylinder, so I'll show you the block of that. That's the block of the four cylinder way. Just there. And you've got the different materials you can do in line sixes. So, say, sort of Japanese this, uh, Nissan R44 Skyline engine. I mocked one of them up roughly. All I needed is the turbos. And I kind of tweaked it messing around. Then you've got the V8s. I'm guessing they're putting V6s in and other bigger engines. I know V16 and stuff like that I've seen in mentioned so. God knows what these guys are coming up with. Something that I'd love to see and whether it will be ever added is diesels. Uh, I'm going to probably ask that on their Facebook. Just out of curiosity, because I think that would be kind of cool making a huge ass diesel engine. Sort of like a Cummins or something like that. I don't know. Then you got the flat plane. Like, the block doesn't really change, or if it does, I can't see it personally. Well, we'll just do a V8. We'll make it 5 litre. I'm not building any to real specs here, I'm just playing around. We'll have a cast block. So you can do all the different cranks. The different com rods. You got scenarios as well that you can do, but I just enjoy building engines and seeing what I can do out of it. Different type of pistons. I'll go cast. Top end, I'll go push rod because I don't plan sort of doing an older style V8. Aluminium, or as you Canadians and Americans and whoever else calls it, aluminium. Variable valve timing. Now, something else I really like now with this, with the big patch they did, I don't know when they did it, is you can put your own sort of style rocker covers on. And you got the different colours. I'll just dump them on. So it puts your own twist. Before it was just red colour, and you were forced to use that. But I like the fact that you can do your own stuff on there now. I love the chrome. Aspiration. That'll be superchargers and turbos, like I said. If you heard that, that was my phone going off. Carburetor. That's what I'll be going with. But you can see all different styles. Good real old school single carb. That's just single barrel. I 
Oh, four barrel. That'll probably go four. I'm not too familiar with this style at all. Nor really am I. Unfortunately, carburetors, because they don't really teach you too much on that at college anymore. They kind of lose the old school stuff and the old school ways. Now, I've not been to college for some years now because I finished it. I always do a 95 octane. Don't know why, just do. Always put the performance filter on pretty much. Uh, the injection, mechanical, single point EFI, multi point, and direct. There you got your throttle body per cylinder. Single, that's for mechanical. You can see that it changes a lot of stuff when you do it. So the stuff you can do is pretty much endless, and at the minute, with these sort of engines, no doubt you can make most of the stuff out there. So it changes a lot of stuff. Go carburetor. I'll do a single. You could do your fuel mixture, your ignition timing, RPM. If you go too high on the RPM or too much power or some Word of stuff and you just get it wrong, it will blow up, but you don't see any of that. It, you hear it break and you stop the test and you've got your engine back. So, straight off the bat, I'm going to raise that. Raise that a little bit. Bring the fuel up. And you've got the different types of heads. Look like some weird and wonderful intestines going on back there now. We'll put it short, single, or dual. I always run dual bypass valves on the mufflers, so when you get up to sort of, I think it's around 5,000 RPM, they open up and it sounds just like you're running straight for exhaust. Catalytic converter, well, we don't want that. But I'll show you. Different uh, exhaust silences. Uh, that's what the bypass valves look like. Just put a little piece in there. That'll be the same for the end one, but just so we can hear the sheer sound of it when I get it going. Testing. Now you could put it on the ordinary dyno, or well now you can go in test mode and you can control it. You've got your RPM, your VAC, um, boost when they put in the uh, turbos and this is one hell of a teaser seeing the boost gauge. Oil pressure that at the minute I don't really think serves a purpose other than the fact that it's pretty cool you got a knock gauge so if the engine's knocking bad it'll light up then you got your power and torque represented here So, about now I'm making about 200 horse, I think. I'm just under. So, you do that. Run it on the dyno. You can see it's, there, it's really lumpy. So that will hinder the uh, performance. Here you've got a uh, skip it. Here you've got the fuel so around between two thousand, two and a half. Lower fuel usage. So it's almost two hundred horse. And three hundred 
and six newton meters of torque. Then you just tweak it and you get better performance. My guess is if I put a slight Come on it. Tweak the compression ratio. Well, I had to stop recording because the uh, hard drive got full. Well, almost full. And I need to upgrade the hard drive. Well, get a spare secondary third one actually. Ferdinary, is that word? For recording and doing stuff like this. So, I was going to do a dyno, but as I kind of tested it anyway, I know needed to lower the compression a bit more and put the cam profile up. So, put a cam in it effectively. Giving it a test, you can see the gauge is altered. Meaning, you already know you're going to be making more horsepower. Judging by that, I could probably raise it to about 7,000 RPM. Something I never mentioned is uh, you can break the engine down, and what I mean by that is if you're wondering what this is over here, zoom out a bit. So you can take it down. So there you can see the valve springs and whatnot, the rockers. Takes the heads off, or the headers, air filter, so you could, if you really wanted, you could look down the barrels of the carb. Nothing functions there, or anything like that. Taking the head off, so you can watch the valves tapping away. I will show you this in, in motion. That removes the block, as you can see, and the alternator. Oh, they've improved on. It used to just be copper wire, now they've got the sort of looking like of the armature. See the push rods, the cam. I could get rid of all the valve train, all the ancillaries. Just leave the common rods and crank. And you can get rid of the whole lot and uh, have the invisible engine. Why do you want to do that, don't I? We'll go hit test, we'll start her up. I love doing that. You can see it all working. So we'll put out as well, two and a half. Probably do with the rest at some point. No doubt they will. We've got a little bit of clipping coming through the block on the pistons. I don't know, I don't know if that's just on uh, certain pistons or not. But it's still very much in the development stage. Timing chain, you can see that. Let's stop it down a bit more. Let's take the RPM on. Oh, 
It's amazing, I love it. I really wish I had this program at college. Understand it a lot more. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed it. My sort of spin on this program. Really do recommend it if you're into it, like I've said. Uh, if you want more videos of this, what I can do... I don't know. Or what you want me to do, I don't know. But, if you like it, drop me a comment. Cheers guys.